back to another episode of Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill. Big shout out to New Balance for sending the Palace and New Balance collab my way, at least the colorway I didn't already have. Super excited to go through these, but these are the Pansy Violets on the 580 silhouette. Let's take a quick sneak peek. to another unboxing and review. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe right now. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave those down below and hit that notification bell because we do have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for our amazing membership perks as well as our merch store. Today, we're gonna be talking about this beautiful collaboration done with Palace and New Balance on the 580 Silhouette. If you haven't already seen it in the Lapis Blue colorway, go back, check that video out. I do have more history behind it. Today we'll be going through the other color scheme, which is this beautiful pansy violet colorway. So we'll go through the overview, talk about size and fit, followed by how I styled this, and then conclude with how much these went for retail. So let's jump right into it. Big shout out to Sarmad, who was a huge part in the design collaboration portion with Palace. He has some amazing designs that he's done. The YCMC was also one of the sneakers that he was on the design team for as well as the white beige 550s. So I am honestly, I'm having a hard time deciding which color is my favorite. I thought this was my favorite of the two, but now that I have these in hand, there's just something about the pops of color, specifically this purple and volt yellow, which are really drawing me in. I don't know why, but I feel like I'm like really into bright pops of color for the fall. So starting with the front of the toe box, we have the nice shaggy suede again, which we saw as well on the lapis blue colorway, this time in a nice kind of deeper, darker turquoise color. As we work our way up, we've got just nice clean white for the meshing. We've got palace in that teal and bright pop of volt yellow, which really complements the purple quite nicely. I feel like I've always loved teals and purple combinations, so that could be why I'm super biased to this colorway. As we work our way up, we do have white and gray laces. If you're not a fan of those, they do give you an extra color scheme, which is in that teal colorway. I think I might actually swap these out for the teal. I don't know. I'm trying to, trying to figure out which one I would like better, but I'm definitely vibing with that teal lace color scheme. As we work our way up we've got the white meshing but on the top here again we've got that really cool stash pocket at the top as you guys know i love me a good solid stash pocket to put you know a little something in there if you need to hold your cash just nice to have an extra pocket because those ladies are always carrying and looking around massive bags. We've got the 580 Palace and New Balance logo on the top there in teal and then nice pops of that Volt yellow will be on the color behind that as well as on the zipper of that stash pocket. We also have hits of that yellow on the eyelets here. So let's take a look at those details and then move along to the side paneling.
So working our way to the side panels, we do have more of that just really bright pop of purple with the N and that teal colorway. As we work our way underneath it, we've got that metallic silver, which really just complements that teal and purple quite nicely. Wrapping around the back, we've got more hints of that pop of bright yellow and palace is displayed quite nicely here in the teal colorway. We've got New Balance on the top here embroidered and stitched in white with some more of that shaggy suede and heather gray. We've got gray, white, and teal for the interior on that insole. And as we wrap around to the lateral side of the sneaker again, just nice hues of that nice color combination of the Volt yellow, purple, and teal. So we work our way down to the bottom. We've got nice gray suede here and then on the midsole we've got this nice splatter print in a nice gray tone on top of white and then we've got roll bar and that is not volt yellow color scheme the sneaker is unfinished off with a simplistic black outsole and just hues of this kind of nice bright pop of blue in that royal blue colorway all right let's take a look at those last and final details As far as the box goes, to match the cool splatter marks, we do have the splatter marks as well with the Palace Triberg on the top there. So just nice, cool coordinating box, which I love. Now let's jump into size on these. So I would say stick true to size on this one. I am a size seven and a half. So if you do have higher chinero feet like myself, I would say stick true to size. But if you do have flatter wire feet, that could actually differentiate maybe a completely opposite size range since we do have different types of feet. So do take that into consideration when you're deciding on what size will work best for you. All right, so now let's jump into styling. Again, this is just a really fun pop of color. I've just been seeing so many bright pops of color on the runway and it's definitely something that will be trending this fall. So this is kind of something before I would probably say would be more of a spring summer colorway, but this is definitely something I feel like you can now transition into the fall time, which I'm pretty excited about. For the first look, I kept it pretty monochromatic top to bottom with an all gray look. So I wore a gray vest, layered that with a gray blazer on top with matching gray pants. And that I think just complemented the hues in this, but made the sneakers really just stand out. to complement the purple hues in this with a lavender turtleneck and I layered that with a striped lavender and white button down and I wore some simple just light denim wide leg pants. She gonna eat me up like live bait. Turned out she knew I knew this dude she like. She like should I wait? I never make a move alone. Am I totally corny? Wait you know I'm right. Could you like maybe ask him out for me? Surely you jazz. You must have mixed me up with your best. She my type but I like Vito Corleone. I don't get no respect. I guess I'll be on my own like Patty LaBelle and my pad on myself, chatting with friends that don't know me that well. They tell me there's a million fish in the sea. I'm like, okay, but I don't need bottom feeders. I want ones who can breathe. And then for the last and final look, I dressed up a bit with an abstract maxi dress and just some nice multicolors, which I thought complemented the color scheme of the sneaker. Push me, baby, I'll commit to something and forget about it. Like my left hand. 
Less lamps somewhere in the shade. Oh wait, I'm with my crew like a deckhand. You free later every day. My day to day is crazy. Been through a marriage. Oh, you too? So, so you let me know down below what was your favorite look of the three or how would you style these? conclude with how much these retailed for. So these retailed at $160. And again, I'm still fighting between which color I like better. I'm definitely going to have to coordinate these both into my fall wardrobe. But if you have not copped a pair, definitely go online and check these out if there's any still available. All right, shout out again. Thank you to New Balance for sending these my way. That's it for this unboxing and review. If you joined us for the first time, thank you so much. Hit that subscribe on your way out. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave those down below and hit that notification bell because we have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for our amazing membership perks as well as our merch store. This is Shay TV. My name is Marissa Hill. We'll catch you all next episode.